An ice storm is a type of winter storm characterized by freezing rain, also known as a glaze event or, in some parts of the United States, as a silver thought. The U.S. National Weather Service defines an ice storm as a storm which results in the accumulation of at least 0.25 inch 6.4 millimeters of ice on exposed surfaces. From 1982 to 1994, ice storms were more common than blizzards in the U.S., averaging 16 per year. They are generally not violent storms, but instead are commonly perceived as gentle rains occurring at temperatures just below freezing. Formation The formation of ice begins with a layer of above freezing air above a layer of sub-freezing temperatures, closer to the surface. Frozen precipitation melts to rain, while falling into the warm air layer, and then, begins to refreeze, in the cold layer below. If the precipitate refreezes, while still in the air, it will land on the ground as sleet. Alternatively, the liquid droplets, can continue to fall without freezing, passing through the cold air just above the surface. This thin layer of air, then, cools the rain to a temperature below freezing 0 degrees C or 32 degrees F. However, the drops themselves, do not freeze, a phenomenon called supercooling or forming supercooled drops. When the supercooled drops strike ground or anything else below 0 degrees C 32 degrees F e.g. power lines, tree branches, aircraft a layer of ice accumulates, as the cold water drips off, forming a slowly thickening film of ice, hence freezing rain. While meteorologists can predict when and where an ice storm will occur, some storms still occur with little or no warning. In the United States, most ice storms are in the northeastern part of the country, but damaging storms have occurred farther south. An ice storm in February 1994 resulted in tremendous ice accumulation as far south as Mississippi and caused reported damage in nine states. More timber was damaged than that caused by Hurricane Camille. An ice storm, in eastern Washington, in November 1996 directly followed heavy snowfall. The combined weight of the snow and 25 to 37 mm 0.98 to 1.46 in of ice caused widespread damage, and was considered the most severe ice storm, in the Spokane area since 1940.